Guys, you will do a system, regardless how big, how small. Never ever try to charge the system. Just looking at the evaporator, saturation, temperature. That you can easily overcharge the system that way. Because by the time you you're there and you satisfy the evaporator requirement, you're way over where you're supposed to be. Okay? Charge the high side, charge <coughs> the high side temperature and pressure, and your metering device automatically takes care of the low side, given that all things are working as they should. And it's a new system you're putting in, or let's put it this way, you the guys working on it, so when you finish and you're ready to charge that system, it should be um, installed properly so you, you have no problem when you're charging it. All right. <coughs> now, the higher efficiency system, as you go into the high efficiency range, that 30 degrees will be reduced. In other words, your condenser split becomes less and less the higher the efficiency of that unit is. And in cases when it comes to refrigeration, the system may be standard system, but you, you will not use the 30 degrees. Follow whatever the manufacturer says you should. If they do not publish numbers, go there. All right? But always follow the manufacturers publish numbers because that's what they test these things in a lab at varying conditions. Because they will have the if they tell you this unit can run operate in temperatures of 120 degrees ambient, it will because they will have this room at 120 constantly and have that unit running constantly. And they keep monitoring it from day one. Also, oh, it'll tell you how many degrees. De yes. But it'll tell you how many degrees above. Okay. Above ambient. But okay. if they don't, go there. All right. Always, you see, always um, prepare for the worst, but hope for the best. Mm -hmm. So this is worst case scenario. And here's the thing: you, you, you know, if you recognize. As you get more and more into this industry and you get more and more exposure, you are going to recognize at times that, you know what, I'm charging this thing and I haven't gotten to that 30 degree stage but everything else is checking out. And you know, I'm at 20 degrees and everything is already in place, all my temperature and pressures are where they're supposed to be. guys. Shut them out. Because chances are the unit you're working on is a 14 or maybe 16 seer unit, which only requires 20 degrees difference. So don't push it at that point. You know, don't force it to go there if it's already doing what it needs to do at 20 degrees or 25 degrees. Leave it run. And at that point, what I normally will do is leave it run for about half hour or so and see if there is any significant change. If there is not, okay, I close up shop and I go, I leave. Because putting more gas in that system will not make it work better. It will actually turn out to make it work, work worse or not work at all. Or you burn up the compressor worst case scenario. So never ever try to force too much refrigerant into a system when it's not really working. Don't, you know, don't, don't trouble it if it's not broken. Uh, leave it at that point. <coughs> and the higher the efficiency, like I mentioned this yesterday, the higher the efficiency of the system, the lower will be a condenser saturation temperature. Right. So, we actually do not like to go much below this 10. So that 105 becomes design condenser saturation. 95 plus 10, 105. And that gives me a pressure range that will be adequate 
to maintain refrigerant flow within the system. Now, there's a couple of things we need to know how each of these components work. The guys who manufacture the metering device, they always want to see the temperature of the refrigerant going to that device at 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Because that's, they manufacture it around that temperature, okay? And bottom line is, at that temperature is where you get a maximum refrigerating effect out of that refrigerant when it comes out to the TXV or the metering device. So I'll have 105 condenser saturation, that's a 10 degree split plus about 5 degrees subcooling because I, I sure as heck wouldn't get 10 degrees to get me down back to 95. But 5 degrees subcooling give me 100 degrees liquid going to my metering device. And I'll be right in the, I'll actually be playing the ball, not in just in the ballpark, because I, everything will fall in the way. <coughs> and it, most of the time, if you do this, if you start your job doing everything as it's supposed to be done, then you should not have a problem when it comes to adding the refrigerant into the system. Uh, especially if you have a scale. If they tell you we in this refrigerant, it needs exactly two pounds, three ounces, they put two pounds, three ounces. And that would be your starting point. Who, de who determines what kind of, you know, what type of refrigerant system holds? The um, application number one will determine it. Because manufacturers design compressors to use R12 or R22 or 404. Oh, you by a compressor. The compressors are designed to work with that. Oh, okay. All right. Likewise, metering devices, um, term expansion valve, automatic expansion valve, they're designed to work with specific refrigerant. So you have to match the compressor refrigerant with the metering device refrigerant when you're buying those two. Okay. Okay, there's, they're refrigerant specific. Now, there are some compressors out there that would work with 404 and um, 407C, which is, 404 is one gas, 407C is a drop in replacement for R22. So in effect, that compressor can run with 404 if you have that, or it can run with 404 with R22 if you have that. Thing is, nobody's going to be using R22 right now because they're phasing it out. And it, the, pre, the price of that is ridiculously high right now. 404 is under 200 bucks per can. So, yeah, and I don't even go there. I can't afford $600. But then why buy it? I can refrigerate for six hundred dollars when you can go buy one for two hundred and <coughs> and then and the equipment is rated to use it. And so, which one do you use with that? You said the one is thermal. Which one is it? What, what is it? Four oh four. Four oh four. We use four oh four, which is a standalone refrigerant. The characteristics are totally different from R twenty two. R four oh four has a lower boiling point at atmospheric than, um, than 22. 22 boils atmospheric, it boils at um, negative 41 degrees. R404 at atmospheric boils at somewhere negative 52 or 53. All right? So it has a lower boiling point. That being said, the same system that uses the 404, you can, you can use R22 in the system, but now that we're not using R22, we can use 407, which is a replacement for R22. <coughs> you guys are not, by the way, if you're gonna, if you're gonna do EPA, you need to know. So I got, we got a, we got a system that has R22, but it leaked out, uh, we can put 404, we don't have no idea. Where? Okay. 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 No. no, no, no. Reason is, if a system is manufactured R22, chances are the compressor has mineral oil in it. 404 is a blend, and 
every plant needs POE oil in the system in order to ensure adequate oil return. So it's, if you use 404, it's going to wash the oil out of that compressor and wash the bearings dry. And you just had a compressor. So if it's designed for 404, you can use 22. If it's designed for 22, I'm not going to use 404. So that's it. You, you got to use 22. Yes. But then, like I said, um, I'm not sure. You have to check. If the compressor has POE oil, yeah, you can um, you can take the chance. But you see, you always call a manufacturer and ask them what to do. Because that's, you're talking about the system in the lab? No. Uh, what are you talking about? about, 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 about. Or something of, outside of this school? Yeah. Yeah. But here's the thing. Call the manufacturers. If they say no, it's no. Because the thing is, you don't take that chance. You may end up breaking that compressor right there while you're charging it with the 404. Well, it'll just, right. seize, it'll just seize right up because the oil is washed away? But not that the, all the oil is washed away, but the oil, um, these blends, they're one of the best decreases you can, man, mankind ever made. So what it's going to do, wash the oil off of the bearings. So you won't have lubrication in the bearing. Mind you, there'll still be oil there, but it's just not going to be where it needs to be. And over a period of time, the compressor running, 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 it's going to overheat. And, you know, tomorrow morning, you may get a call and say, hi, you got to come back and do something. My system in cold. When you go there, your, your compressor is so you don't change switch refrigerant unless you get to the manufacturer because compressors are the heart of your system. They're the most expensive, single expensive component in that system. And most most uh, customers, when they hear you had to change the compressor, they kind of got that their jaw drop. And then they go into their pocket and <coughs> pull it out like this and say, look, I'm broke. Can you install it for me and I pay you next month? <laughs> they don't even say please. So be careful how we switch refrigerants. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. So ninety plus thirty one twenty five one twenty. Condensing temperature at 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Over we might condense the saturation pressure. You know how to find that? Yeah, so, so at that, what would be the corresponding pressure? I'll give you a hint. You can find it. It's about 185. So see if you find that on the PP chart. Want to light? No. Need to light. That's fine. You're going to have a picture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But 185? I'm more about that. Is there only one? 171.2? At 120 degrees Fahrenheit. R134 is. Where's R134? Okay. So it's about there. Yeah. I love when this book has typo. It's about 150 degrees. 
Can I see? I just saw a number of years ago. That's supposed to be 95, guys. That's supposed to be 95, this is supposed to be 125. It's a typo. I'm going to change it. She's looking at 125. So I'm looking at 125. Then we 184, 184, 185. This is supposed to be five, and this is supposed to be five. Because we're looking at design, all right? And it's going to give me one, about 186, 185 PSI. Yeah, 185.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 181.7. 
or increased pressure on the spring, you're decreasing the flow rate, so your <coughs> know, pressure here will go up. All right. So, but um, see, if water is leaving at 95 degrees, which is where we desire, always when your system is fully charged to set this valve. Check the temperature of the water exiting the system and adjust it so you get 95 degrees water coming out. And once it's maintaining that 95 degrees water coming out, then my condenser saturation is 10 degrees above that, which makes it 105. Now R22 at 105 is 210 PSIG. And if I use this same 95 design temperature, right, and it's air cooled, 95 plus 35 plus 30 degrees is 125. R22 at 125, 125 degrees is 278 PSIG. You see what, what happened here with water cool system and my compressor? Again, my head pressure reduced, compressor efficiency increases. All right, so water cool system, super efficient. That's all I am getting. So you're looking at CST equal this plus 10 degrees equal 105 <coughs> degrees Fahrenheit there. See, we don't want that. that. <coughs> If you have R12 condensing at this, here it's at that temperature, I'm right into the critical range. It's going to be pretty tough for that R12 to condense back, the vapor to condense. Because if I'm at the top of that little, that little um, horseshoe, I'm here. That's roughly about there. So that's what we need. If we are here, guess what happened, or what may have happened to cause that? Could be a blockage or something too. Starting high head pressure. Is there? Oh yeah, that's like this here. I didn't show you underline. I told you you were on a pipe that was mismatched up. <laughs> <laughs> Condenser, the tubes are probably blocked or partially blocked. And one of the ways we check that, you won't believe it, is with a bucket. Because if I have, let's say I have a five ton system, right? And it's a wastewater system. Five ton, and I know I, I require 1.5 gallon per minute should per be, ton. It should be like seven and a half gallons. So I should get 7.5 GPM, right? Mm -hmm. Or in one minute, I should get 7.5 gallon in, in that bucket. If I get only five gallon in that bucket, it means yeah, I have a serious bracket someplace. So that is a sure fine way of checking flow rate mm -hmm. other than putting a flow, flow meter be, in it. Could in that the just line. be a build up in the pipes too, not necessarily a full blockage? But what, I'm, what I know happened from experience is that this begins to get dirty. Water starts to back up. Then the if I lose flow, flow rate, whatever sediments are in there will kind of settle to the bottom upstream 
of this condenser coil. So then it's going to build up in the pipe and it's going to kind of reverse itself. The more this gets dirty, the farther backward that will extend to. So I have taken apart these things where I had to end up cleaning the pipe through the valve and everything. In some cases, change the valve. Because the valve stop, the valve refused to move mm -hmm. at times. Sometimes they refuse to close, especially if it's a, um, one of those gate valve. valve and it's torn up right side up. And by the way, talking about gate valve, if you're ever going to put in a gate valve in a water line, turn it upside down if you have it. Okay, so that way you can open it and it stays open. So even if you close it, to do service and it's going to open with natural gravity, hopefully. That's what, I always have a hammer just things like that. Yeah, well, I've seen those, those, sometimes I had a couple of them snap <laughs> on me. Yeah, they do snap. And it, it is the nature of the beast, you know. If you have to work on that too, yes. You got to do it, you got to fix it. No, I don't. You know, so.